I chose to go into ophthalmology because when I was a medical student, a patient told me I'd rather die than not be able to see. That really stuck with me and emphasized just how important vision is in people's lives. We use it for everything from our hobbies to spending time with our family to our work. And I was drawn to refractive surgery for the same reason. Giving patients the best vision possible means giving them the best life possible. I also relate quite a bit to refractive surgery patients. I was prescribed glasses maybe around the third grade, but I've been wearing contact lenses every day for 16 plus hours a day since the sixth grade because I am completely glasses intolerant. From having limited peripheral vision to just the annoyance of having something on your face every day, I knew I was gonna be stuck with contacts. Unfortunately, about five years ago, the winter and allergies meant that my dry eye symptoms would be pretty significant, which would start to make contact lenses have issues as well. Everything I do, from my work as an eye surgeon to the hobbies that I enjoy and spending time with family, require sharp vision. Glasses are not ideal in the clinic or in the OR, and even with photography, glasses don't really work well with the viewfinder on the camera. I also like to teach people how to fly on the weekends and at altitude, the air can get really dry. Contacts just start to feel sticky. I'm sure every contact lens wearer can relate to that. And you know, they feel like they almost fall out sometimes. And lastly, contact lenses just drove me crazy because of the waste and the cost. It was costing a couple hundred dollars every few months and those weren't even toric contact lenses. So I can't imagine what those patients have to pay. Just like flying, eye surgery requires really precise vision. And the last straw for me was really when I was in the OR and cataract surgery. And during a very important part of the surgery, I was really focused and back to that itchy, sticky feeling from the contact lenses. My left contact lens actually blinked out. So we had to stop, make some adjustments, and then in between cases, I had to run across the street to our optical shop, find a quick fix contact lens, and head back over. So when this contact lenses and glasses started to interfere with work like that, I knew I had to do something. And that something was to fly down to Parker's New Vision for ICLs. After discussing all the amazing options for refractive surgery that we have today, including LASIK and LALEX, I was particularly excited about ICLs for a couple of reasons. I knew they would make my dry eye symptoms so much better, so goodbye to sticky contact lenses. They're just as safe as the corneal-based surgeries. Uh, they're totally reversible. And as an optics nerd, I loved how, because of where they sit in the eye, it will deliver the best vision possible. As of right now, recording this, this entire time I've been talking, I'm one hour after bilateral ICL surgery with Dr. Parkhurst. My vision's amazing. I'm 2015 in both eyes and 2012 together. And I just wanna say I'm so thankful to Dr. Parkhurst and the entire Parkhurst New Vision team for making this possible and giving me better vision than I really ever had. I trust Dr. Parkhurst, of course, and his whole team so much. He has some of the most extensive experience with ICLs in the entire country, so I was not nervous at any point throughout the entire process. And now I'm just so excited to operate, fly, travel, play music, take pictures, and do so much more with my new vision.